Standing tall in the heart of Lower Kabete, Epic Ridge Apartments makes the perfect staycation destination for anyone seeking to take a break from the hustle and bustle of the city in the city. I kid you not, it's less than 30 minutes from Nairobi CBD. Going for 3,000 shillings a night, this one bedroom unit features a four burner gas cooker and oven, an assortment of very decent utensils and, wait for it, even a dining table. For more information, contact the owner via the contact details in the caption. So, when the gang decided to catch a brother, we drove there and as always, I was on kitchen duty. But you know how men are, pretty poor at planning and short notice. Luckily for us, we had picked some chicken thighs on our way there and there's always a jar or two of spices in the car. There's a shop at the entrance of the apartment, so getting fresh veggies wasn't a hassle. I immediately got creative and made some mild sweet chicken thighs using red onions, red jalapeno peppers, salt, soy sauce, and honey. Into a pot, add the chicken thighs, flip the cooker to medium heat, and allow the thighs to simmer till they can't go there. Normally, the thighs will render their own fat, but if not, cut it off with some cooking oil. The chicken may stick to the pan, but that's okay since the broth will be glazed. Once the chicken browns, add in the jalapeno and cook for 2 minutes before adding the chopped onions to cooking the chicken soft and fragrant. With the onions all soft and fragrant, add in some water. Again, my good people, please do it sparingly. The chicken is, not, is nearly cooked and we are not making chicken broth. So, just a little water. Turn up the heat, bring the chicken to a boil, then go in with the salt, honey, and soy sauce. Stir everything up to mix it real nice, taste to ensure the seasoning is right, lower the heat to medium, then cover, and allow to cook till the chicken is cooked through. 20 minutes later, the sauce should have thickened and darkened considerably. The chicken too should be ready. Turn off the heat and serve. We had the chicken as was, but I assure you, it'd be much better with fries or vegetable rice. Try the recipe and share your results. I'd love to see what you guys whip up.